Well, hello, Awkward Knots. The disembodied head of Alex has come to tell you that it's Sunday. DFTV! Hey! So, these past couple weeks have been really, really crazy for me. Um, there's been a lot going on, and it's still not entirely all taken care of, so... Some of it I'm not going to talk about because I don't want to be really, like, talking about stuff and then it doesn't end up happening. That would be just really weird. So, um... Ugh. One thing that has happened is I now have a roommate. My, uh, my good friend Patrick has moved into the big room down the hall and is, uh gonna be my roommate he's the guy i do like celtic jams with and stuff so that's gonna be a good time and yeah. he's a really really cool dude very clean uh so that's awesome um what else has been going on that i can talk about school has started back up again things are going crazy I'm doing all sorts of crazy crazy stuff trying to keep up Starting to uh, put my fingers, put my tendrils out for uh, for going for master's degree stuff. So that's going to be an adventure. Um, yeah. So that's me lately. The things I need to talk about for Awkward Knots videos. Ooh, what books am I reading right now? Hmm. Well, I actually just, I just finished doing a bunch of, like, reading a bunch of book stuff. So my, my, actually, my pile of books is down at, at nothing again until I start rereading books. But, uh, I just finished a book called Three Day Road, which was really, really good. It's about, um, it's about two, uh, two First Nations, uh, Canadians who go off to the First World War, and uh, it's kind of interspersed with um, one of them has come home, uh, and he has, you know, he has lost a leg, and he's on a journey home with his, uh, with his aunt, who's uh, his only living relative, and it's kind of, he's, he's addicted to morphine, and so he, he's, and he's slowly running out, so he's going, you know, there's all sorts of bad things going on. But, uh... So that was a fantastic book. Uh, let's see. I'll get the author. Ooh. Joseph Boyden is the author. Uh, I highly recommend it to all of you. It was fantastic. Um... But, at the moment, my book stacks have kind of shrunk down to nothing. I am, uh, I'm currently without, without a book to read, which is, uh, uncommon, to say the least. I'll probably have to head over to my, uh, my bookshelf. Maybe I'll read, uh, uh, After the Flood by Margaret Atwood again. It's actually the second book in a series. The first one being Oryx and Crake, but uh, that's also it's it's also fantastic. So uh, highly recommended. Really, really good. I like thumbs up. You should uh, you should read that one as well. I'm giving you a lot of Canadian literature. It's not on purpose. It's just really good. Um. What's the other thing I had to talk about? Of course, how could I forget? I need a random fact. Hmm, what can I choose? Ah, uh, I know a lot of really random things. Um, like, I actually, I have a friend who used to say that she learned something new every day, and she learned something new from me every day. So I was like, I was just an addendum. I was an extra thing. Um, hmm, this is a good one. 
It is 100% and entirely legal to have a picnic in a graveyard. Anyway, I will uh, I will see you guys hopefully on Thursday this time. It's Things were going crazy last Thursday, so it just didn't happen. I feel really terrible about it. Ooh, excuse me. Um, so hopefully I'll see you next Thursday. Lauren, I will see you tomorrow. At least I hope so. And so DFTBA to you guys.